Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Baby Metal, we're going on tour this year. I can't believe it. Oh my God. We have waited so long for this announcement and we kind of knew it was coming because they've mistakenly released tickets for some gigs and just hinted so much stuff. Loads of other social media accounts have said they're doing a new album this year and just everything is being speculated and they just haven't announced it yet. But now they have. I can't believe it. My my first reaction of when they released the list was obviously my heart was pounding and I, I couldn't, I could barely read it because all I was looking for was UK. UK. But no. We already know they're going to download festival, so I just ignored that. But I was just looking for ages like, I can't see UK on there. It's not on there. And so the picture on it was US and Europe. So no Australia. No Japan or Asia, no like California, that kind of side of America, no South America, pretty much very small part of Europe and so really it's not a world tour, absolutely not. So I was obviously really, really kind of like annoyed and upset that they weren't coming to the UK like a headline show because it's really strange that they haven't because every world tour they've done they've always come to the UK. I was really disappointed with like the places they're going, yeah, it's really, really random and the, like, America and Europe are all in, like, close proximity with each other, which I guess is, is better for them because they don't have to travel, like, miles and miles and miles for, like, loads of dates. So they're going on tour from the 8th of May for a month, so that finishes on June the 8th, I think. So for the US, um, leg of this tour, they have, they're going to the east coast of America, which is, I would just read them out for you, in case you don't know. Going to Kansas City, Austin, Dallas, Houston, which is three Texas dates. Um, Atlanta, Charlotte, Nashville, and Columbus. And that is for the Rock on the Range, the festival. So these are all quite small venues, probably like 2000 capacity. And so they're doing no like, huge shows. And I can't believe, because they're doing the East Coast of America, they're not going to New York. It's really, really strange. But anyway, carry on to Europe. Europe is very small, small part. <laughs> so they're going to, so two dates in Germany, they're going to the Rock Am Ring and Rock in Park um, Festival. So that's the 1st of June and 2nd of June. And then they're going to Innsbruck in Austria, um, Utrecht, Netherlands and Derby UK Download Festival. Okay, so once I got over the fact that they're not coming to the UK, I um, got to talking to my friend Lily and we've decided to go to Utrecht. Literally just squealing with excitement. Oh my God, oh my God. So me and Lily are going there in the Netherlands and I'm also going to Download Festival. Obviously I knew that as soon as they released that, that they were playing there. Um, I've already, now they've released the day they're playing. I've booked my accommodation, just waiting for them to release the day tickets now. So I can finally get my ticket and get really excited. Now with all of these shows, they have um, released tickets. They have released VIP tickets. So there are two VIP ticket versions. There's the chosen one package, which includes one general admission ticket, one commemorative VIP laminate and lanyard, two exclusive gifts from Baby Metal, first priority entry into the venue, and priority merchandise shopping. Now, I don't know how true that is because I need to ask like the venue, if, if you've been queuing all day, and then do you get taken out of the queue to go in first? Or do you, I don't know what happens. I, I need to find out because I don't really wanna waste my whole day queuing when I didn't actually need to, but I'm prepared to queue, so yeah. And then the second one is just called VIP package or VIP two, I think it says on some websites. That's one general admission ticket, one commemorative VIP laminate and lanyard, one exclusive gift from Baby Metal, second priority entry in the venue, and priority merch shopping. Which the only difference is, first one says priority merchandise shopping and the second one is priority merch shopping. <laughs> Whatever that means. So luckily me, oh, it, it, it took me a while to decide because I wasn't sure if I was going to do the, the chosen one the VIP, um, but they released the tickets and we both got the chosen one VIP tickets. Oh my God, I 
I can't believe it. I was literally squealing with excitement. I was just like, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> literally that. I just had a constant smile on my face and I honestly, I wanted to cry. <laughs> it was really easy um, getting those tickets. It, random, it randomly went on sale kind of after it was supposed to be on sale and Lily messaged me. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> we need to get them. Um, but it was actually really easy to get them. The site loaded like really well and yeah. And I think those, I think the chosen one sold out within like 15 minutes maybe. And then the other one sold out maybe half an hour. I think the whole thing sold out within an hour, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But they are all now sold out, which is good. But there's some people who obviously missed out because the timings of the tickets were really weird and they didn't release, Baby Metal officially didn't release when the tickets were going to be on sale until like um, the day before or a few hours before they're going on sale, which is really strange. It was a very unorganised ticket sales for this time. Um, I feel sorry for the people who aren't like mega mega baby metal fans who don't go on reddit and just you know oh, oh i fancy seeing them but you have to be really on the ball with seeing them you mean i mean you really have to be online a lot to know when these tickets are going to be on sale me and lily are going together obviously we live in different places in the uk um we're flying the same day on different flights the day before and then we've got a hotel together so then we're going out the day before, then it's the show, and then the day after we're going back home. And then on the Saturday, because that's the Tuesday of the show, then the Saturday after is Download Festival. So that week is just going to be incredible. It's going to be so good. And um, the venue we're seeing them in in the Netherlands is about 2,000 capacity, which is quite small. The venue's really nice. It's actually, um, I'll show you a picture. It's like some stairs or something that goes up all the way around and where that ends is actually really close to the stage. So if you manage to go there, so you get to a really, really nice view of um, the stage. And what it looks like, the stage, um, the gap between the stage and the audience is almost non-existent. So I, I think they might have to put another barrier in it because that's way too close like I would actually be scared like people will go up on stage no I don't I don't think they'd do that so after looking at all of these dates and discussing with a few people and looking at loads of reddit posts it's if I feel like like obviously this um tour is pretty small in terms of like being global and a world tour it's, just, it's not a world tour so i have a feeling that they're going to announce another leg of the tour at the end of the year which will will include the uk and honestly i'm just think i'm hoping for a show in australia because they've never been and i know so many people who live in australia and are huge huge fans and they just have never seen them but then obviously all of some of these shows that they've never there's places they've never been to and there's people who are going who have never seen them which is amazing so it does open up some other people but I'm afraid you're probably just gonna have to wait for the people um, where they're not going to. Okay after getting over me buying my ticket all I kept thinking was the merch. The merch. The new merch. Oh I can't wait to have all of the merch and I have no idea what the VIP merch is going to be like those two gifts from Baby Metal like what, what would they be? Um, I've also, because uh, my flight is quite short, I added my um, like a suitcase kind of thing so I can have, just in case there's loads and loads of merch and the stuff that those gifts maybe are heavy or quite big, I can put them in my suitcase. I'm prepared for the merch. So that is my thoughts on the Baby Metal World Tour. Please leave a comment below of where you got tickets or if you're going to the Netherlands or download show because I'll be there and we can we can meet each other. I mean, you know what I look like, so come find me, say hi, please. And before you ask, yes, I will vlog both shows. So it'll be two separate vlogs, one for the Netherlands and one for download. I'm gonna try and film, like get as many like KitchenAids in as possible because I think it's just so much nicer to have other people in your vlogs rather than just filming yourself. So, but I think that'll be very appreciated of everybody else. Uh, I can't wait to like meet some other people who I've spoken to on Reddit as well because obviously Reddit is very like secretive and I've got no idea what people look like. That That's my worry is that if someone comes up to me, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm thingy. But like, if you don't say your username, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> so please just, I think we should all have like the Reddit or Twitter usernames on um, foreheads. 
on my t-shirt. Yeah, because there's so many people who don't have like their face as their profile, which is fine, but then I have no idea what you look like. And if I see you, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.